let's make it more interesting. This is your function, and you're trying to find the maximum minimum of this function subject to the constraint given here to you. Oh, let us apply Lagrange multipliers method. Ready to find the gradient of f, which is equal to, so we're going to apply finding the partial derivative with respect to x first. It becomes a y z e to the power x y z comma taking the partial derivative with respect to y now, which is x z e to the power x y z, and partial derivative with respect to z, which gives us x y e to the power x y z equals to lambda times the gradient of your constraint. You can bring twenty four to the other side, but in this case, it's not very important. Just the numerical value, and it, the derivative is going to be zero. So we have 4x, 2y, and 2z. Now let us do the algebra. So let us set this equal to each other and form a system of equations. So very good. We have yz to power xyz equals to lambda 4x, xz e to power xyz becomes lambda 2y. And finally, in the last equation, you have xy e to the power xyz equals to lambda 2z. So for now, I'm just going to ignore the fact that if two of these variables are zeros, then you can solve for the constraint. But just a quick note here for you, I'm going to write a note two of the variables are zero, then we can solve for the other variable using x, y, g of x, y, z equal to zero, or we can just set to x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 24 and solve for the third variable. So in this case, if x equals to y equal to zero, z squared is 24, or z is plus minus square root of 24, or two square root of six. If x is equal to z equal to zero, y squared is 24. So your y becomes plus minus two square root of six. And if y, is equal to z equal to zero, then 2x squared becomes 24. Or here you have x squared equals to 12, or x becomes plus minus 2 squared root of 3. So keep that in mind, you have this option here. So I'm doing, going to just leave it here. Let's go back to our system. What I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply one of the techniques that you can use many techniques in solving a system is multiply the first equation by x, the second equation by y, and the third equation by z. So you end up having the following system. x, y, z equals to lambda or x squared. Don't forget to write down the power x, y, z equals to lambda or x squared. Multiply the second equation by y. In a bit, we're going to see why I did that. Equals to lambda to y squared and x y z. The last equation by z e to the power x y z equals to lambda to z squared. So here you have three equations. The left hand side are all equal to each other. It means that you can take these equations and set them equal to each other. Since the left sides are all equal, you can set the right sides equal to each other. Just going back to algebra, am I right? So for example, you have equation one, equation two, and equation three. 
set one and two equal to each other. Well, okay. I ended up with lambda for x squared equals to lambda to y squared. With the condition that lambda is not zero, you can divide by lambda and you end up with two x squared equals to y squared. Guys, since all of my constraints are written in x squared, y squared, z squared, I'm going to keep it as it is for now. And now let me set, for example, one and three equal to each other. So in that case, I end up having lambda for x squared equals to lambda to z squared. Again, with the condition that lambda is not zero, we end up having z squared equals to 2x squared. So we found a relation between x and y and x and z. What's the meaning of that? It means that I can simplify the constraint, which is what? Which is 2x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 24. Well, wherever I see y squared, I'm going to write down 2x squared, z squared, 2x squared. I'm going to get rid of unnecessary variables here. So it comes 2x squared plus 2x squared plus 2x squared equals to 24. What's the meaning of that? It means that 6x squared is 24 for x squared is equal to four, or x becomes plus minus two. Well, well, x is positive, negative two. Now I'm going to go back here and find values for my y and z. So from two x squared, let's write it down here, two x squared equals to y squared, y is plus minus square root of two times x. What's the meaning of that? It means that if x is 2, positive 2, my y becomes negative square root of 2 times 2. So let us write negative 2 square root of 2. And if x is minus 2, what do I get? I get y equals to add plus and minus as well. I get minus plus 2 square root of 2. So take a look at this. For x equals to 2, you have two y values. For x equals to negative 2, you have two y values. Now let us take a look at our z. I have 2x squared equals to z squared. What's the meaning of that? z is plus minus square root of 2 times x. But we have, again, two options for our x. If x is positive 2, your z becomes plus minus 2 times square root of 2. And if x is negative 2, your z becomes negative, positive, to the square root of 2. We need to check all combinations, am I right? When we are forming these points, we need to check all combinations. Two plus minus 2 square root of 2, plus minus 2 square root of 2. So if it's 2, you have plus minus 2 square root of 2, and plus minus 2 square root of 2. If it's negative 2, you get plus minus or minus plus 2 square root of 2, if you have the order ready. So we need to check all the possible combinations. Now you're going to go to the last step and do the substitution. Substitute in the function itself. Why is that? Because we want to find the maximum minimum output value. It happens that if you just keep just plugging these numerical values, these points in your function, the maximum is e to the power 16, and the minimum is going to be e to the power negative. Well, if you try to plug in the rest of the points coming from the computation here, you're going to eventually see that the maximum is e to the power 16 and minimum is e to the power negative 16. But we need to check all of the possible points to find the maximum and minimum value for this function using the constraint here. 